Alright, good evening everyone once again, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Uh, of course, this time again, playing through with the silent, hoping to actually make it out of the city this time instead of making it about, you know, third, third, fourth note in here and getting killed. Uh, so far, so good. First floor, we had a, a bit of trouble, but we're fully equipped this time. Uh, haven't used a single potion. We have a bit of synergy going on with just the sheer amount of energy gain we got. So let's plan out our path here. So there's an elite in the center here, and so no matter what, if I take any path on the side here and I don't deviate towards the here, I have to fight an elite, which terrifies me greatly. And of course, have to fight one there as well. So if we wanted to, we could completely circumvent that by just hugging the right here. And we do get a campfire, which makes, you know, future fights that much easier for me, but I, I want to visit the shop. And I feel like there might be some, some cards to be had. It's just, just fighting that elite terrifies me to no end. And we have the gold to spend, so I, th I think, I think despite this, we need to, we need to hit that shot. So let's begin here. The city. Oh, I remember this guy. So this guy likes to uh, defend up a bunch and then uh, retaliate like no other. Best laid plans. Free power. A thousand cuts. I mean, this is, this is the ideal situation. Just getting all those. Um, powers out on the first turn before this guy has a chance to start hurting me, before I have a chance to start defending myself. You, you see what it is. And then we'll just do six damage. And we are going to retain a card thanks to our power here. Uh, when attack deals unblockable damage, apply one poison. This guy has just got so much armor, I don't think it'll be worth it. Choke, on the other hand, highly worth it. If we had more energy. Uh, it could be upwards of 15 damage or more. Okay, so we do have four energy, and get some more energy as well. Ten damage. Let's backflip. So we can do fifteen damage, and oh, he's just got so much, so much uh, armor. Uh, dagger throw. We need yes, that's what we needed. Okay, acrobatics, thank you. Goodbye. Um, oh, we, we, had, we had Survivor, I guess. That, that would have been fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. I think, I think we want the extra energy, so we're going to Flying Knee. And then we're going to... Defend. We'll end our turn, but we will... Um, I think we'll keep we'll keep the infinite blades. We want to get these powers out as soon as we can when we have a, a chance they're not hurting us. So he does 10 damage and he's made us frail. That's right. I remember now. He just makes it so we can never defend ourselves because he is just a massive jerk. Um, but we can turn. Just need to start getting rid of some of his power there. So we're gonna neutralize. Let's get through all that. Just make him a little weaker. No, not, not at all. Hang on, hang, hang on. Three poison, three weak. So ne next time we play a weak card, he'll, he'll get affected by it. We've used up all of his debuffs here. Uh, I, I don't think there's a way out of it. We're gonna take um, a bit of damage here. That's okay, we're gonna outmaneuver end our turn and we're gonna keep the flying knee so we can get some energy stacking going on this this is gonna hurt though it's, it's just essentially you know a third of our health uh, a little less than a third of our health uh, gone in one swing we have five energy this time and okay shiv that's free it's good is this the time to uh Malaise, malaise. I, I probably should have looked up how to pronounce this word. I, th I think it is. Spent all of our energy. Oh, we can spend most of our energy here. Let's 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 do this because I just want to get that going. And it's a free leg sweep, which I am a fan of. It. Maybe we don't even need to now, but I I think it's highly worth it just so he can do like almost no damage and be. Uh, crippled for the rest of his life. This is how it feels when you attack me, sir. 
And uh, keep flying me, of course. So this guy, you know, we just gave him a taste of his own medicine. This is how it feels when he he massively debuffs us, and uh, we just can't seem to defend ourselves because we're weakened. So he's still doing 12 damage. Just drawing so many cards now. So of course, uh, neutralize, keep him weak forever. This is where we want the flying to come in. The shiv, free damage. Uh, acrobatics, because we want to get some block. And I think this is this is the one we want. No, this is the one we want. Survivor, discard strike, and then. Um, I mean, he's both the same thing, but we get a, a bigger pool of things to choose from. And let's see. There, there may very well be something we want in there. So we're going to pull two more cards out, and yes, yes. I want to keep the Crippling Poison. Thank you, sir. So again, three more damage. These fights, it's, it's just a huge jump on to the uh, next floor there. I feel like maybe I need to just start using these potions to get a better chance here. Okay, so he's, he's doing, like, no damage now. So he's gonna get choked. Exhaust, or shivved. Extra damage there. Um, defend once. And outmaneuver, just so we have more energy for the next turn there. And I... You're, you know, it's crazy. I'm hanging on to the strike. We just need to do some pure damage here, and this guy is... This, he's finished. Still taking one damage... But overall, you know, not terrible for the uh, turn here. Jeez. I feel like something was like no getting ahead on this guy. It's flying knee, shiv. No, strike. And then leg sweep to keep ourselves safe. And, oh, that's right, yeah, cards do uh, one damage to extra buff there. Okay. So, already off to a better start, it seems. Uh, prepare, draw one card, discard one card. Mm -hmm. Bullet time. You cannot draw any cards this turn. Reduce the cost of cards in your hand. Just... Yes. Yes, I want this. I always want this. If we're able to just... I, I, I've seen it. Like, the gates have opened. I see the potential of this deck now. We can essentially... Fill our cards, or fill our hand with a bunch of cards from our, our draw abilities, and and then play that card if we have enough energy. So we can get, you know, ideally two draw cards, play that for three, and then just play everything for free. This is good. I'm happy. You can't see the grin on my face, but I'm happy. All right, thieves are, you know, they're they're a joke to me. They're I do not fear you. I do fear that much damage though. It's backflip. There we go. Free well laid plants, always nice. So we can block half the damage and essentially. <coughs> Excuse me. Here, uh, just coughing like crazy while I'm trying to figure out what I want to do against these guys. So we can have the damage. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna pop the energy potion. We gotta, we gotta start using these. So we're gonna get shivs for free now. You get choked, and then get dagger thrown. It'll discard a uh, predator. So, uh, yeah. And we will, uh, we will defend. Okay. Uh, so actually, not as good as I thought, but we did get him a lot lower, so we won't be able to, uh, we won't be taking as much damage next time. And I will keep the distraction. All right. Choke is worn off. He's going to steal my mini monies, and he's going to hurt me for ten. Not too bad. Okay. So first, distraction. What is that? 
bouncing class. Three poison to enemy. Okay, yeah, just just play it. It doesn't matter. It's free. That is excellent. We will flying knee this gentleman. And we will flying knee him again. So essentially we just uh, blocked 10 damage by killing him. And then we will shiv this, this one for free damage. And um, keep acrobatics. Maybe we'll get some... Uh, some lackless draw there, we might want to get something that's a little better. Wow, that skill, very, very good. And again, we're still taking a lot of damage here, so uh, could be better. Um, obviously neutralized to make this a little more bearable. And do we have the damage to kill you outright? Let's see. So we can get rid of this. We can leg sweep him so we are completely safe. And then just lay into him with every bit of damage we have. Yeah, end the turn and we'll hang on to the Malaz. Okay, so we've actually negated ourselves from taking any further damage and he is he is he is toasted. So this is this is what I was talking about. Um, if we were to draw on the scene it would have been better. We can backflip into two more cards bullet time and everything is now free and I love it just you know completely ruin this guy's life with poison just actually just throwing everything unnecessarily at him just really letting him feel it it's nice he, he is like extra dead like four times over he is dead goodbye okay Still got a uh, 40 damage in our pocket here if we need it, and good thing we used a potion there. Got a strength potion, so we'll be able to utilize that. I love flying knee. I, I just love flying knee, but this is slightly better for the moment. We have two flying knees for extra energy. No, no, actually, no. I think about it, if as long as we have lots of energy and we get one of our many multiple draw cards, we can potentially draw a good chunk of our deck out. Um, yes, shop. This is what we wanted. This is why we came here. Hey, hello. So what we got? Draw three cards and exhaust? Yep. Yeah. 100% yes. Infinite Blades sale? Potentially. So I, I, I think we want, we want that. And, uh, these are artifacts? Oh, I am... I am an impatient fool. Can I remove any cards from my deck I don't want? I don't. I don't think I want. I don't want strikes anymore. I think everything else we want is, uh, you know, best laid plans. There um, should be drawn strikes. They they just slow us down. So we we spent some money to speed up our deck, uh, and we are likely going to have to use potions. Oh wait, that's right. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Now looking at things, I am not liking our odds here. 116. You don't say. Okay, so we want to get some good damage in here and potentially some better cards, best laid plans. I, th I think that's what we want. That's, that's, that's all we'll need. We'll hang on to the lip sweep to uh, get some extra block and reduce his attack damage. Please don't be armor debuff. Confusion. Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. Ooh, that could be good. I mean, this is this is a free draw three, so like absolutely uh, get, get get out of your strike. Two free flying knees. Uh, you know you know it. You love it. You can't get enough of it. Exhaust. Draw three more cards. Neut neutralize is costing one. I'm not a fan of that. So we got him down to six. I feel like we just draw more cards. You never know if you might draw one that's just like a free. Although we will take six damage, we could take one instead, and that might be the uh, more appropriate. No, wait, no, we we can just actually don't risk it. Confusion could be a, a good debuff on us, and let's just uh, play it safe, take no damage at all. I I highly want to hang on to Predator. Yes, thank you. So we're going to be drawing <coughs> a lot of... Oh, look at all that energy. Yes. Yes. So we actually want to draw into our uh, make all cards cost zero. So this is 
perfect. Uh, if I could read, perhaps it'd be perfect. Draw two more cards next turn. Uh, so then we definitely want to uh, cry that we're going to take 14 damage here. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Uh, best laid plans uh, have not gone well, and we're about to get hurt uh, a lot. So, yeah, alright, we're down to 12 HP. I, I am unhappy. And we need to survive here. Can we survive? So a thousand cuts is free. Backflip gives us five armor, two more cards, which we might need. Flying knee, also free. Strike, 100% free. Flying knee, keep the damage going. And I think we can just block him out. Okay, we're looking good, we're looking good. End my turn. I will hang on to the Malaise. Mal our debuff, our super debuff card. Just to keep it simple, because I am probably not saying that word right at all. It's only eight damage this time from the the Sneko. And so this this is fine. So we can dagger throw. No, we, that's not what we want. I could leg sweep. To get enough block to survive. And you know what? Let's let's just use this. Just to feel very safe. So he he is very weak now. And we'll hang on to that because if we can get drawn to a lot of energy or draw cards, we'll be in a good spot. Alright, I, th I think we got this though. This one's wrapped up. Uh well. It would be wrapped up if we got a uh, any form of damage. Oh, perfect. Yes, you are very dead. That was that was really good. This is, I don't consider confuse a, a debuff here. Oh. Sorry, strength potion. I think that was uh, actually something that helped it out more by giving uh, our expensive cards yeah, some better value. Endless agony plus endless agony plus. Whenever you draw this card, add a copy of your hand. Deal six damage. Exhaust. Hmm. I don't have any exhaust energy right now. <laughs> Just more energy is not needed. I th I, we may as well take it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that potion behind. You can click on rewards. Just pick them up. I know. I, I just I can't. All right. I, I am scared. We have 12 health. Every combat we face is it's gonna get increasingly more difficult. And I believe this guy. Yeah. 21 damage. So forgive me if I'm nervous, uh, we essentially need to draw into multiple defense cards here with this to stand any chance. So neutralize is good, weakens him to announce 15 damage. So we, we need, we, we need to draw the defense, we just gotta. Um, okay, okay, strike, get out of here. Endless Agony, free damage, so he's defending now. That was free, I'm not, I'm not a fool. Okay. Backflip. And, jeez. Oh, and defend, I guess, we, you know, we'll take five damage, but uh, little better off than we were otherwise. We, we might need to burn through all our potions just to stay alive here. Ooh. Okay. It's good. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. So this is free, essentially, and that's well worth what we're paying for. We have to block, get rid of a strike. Give it 21 damage. 
and make him lose two strength and weaken him two. Probably a good idea. Nine. Okay, so we're gonna take one damage now, but that's this is good. This will give us a moment the next turn to uh, fight back potentially, and I think we need to hang on to the defense. So we should get plus one energy from the flower here. Oh, jeez, six health. Okay, this is our time. And he's not fighting back, so this is good. Oh, we got bullet time. Let's go. This is our time. Okay. Probably a misplay for not using the strength there. We probably could have burst him down, but if we don't have to, that's good. Okay. We are weakened. He's going to do 9 damage again. So this, this is enough just to block that. So we're safe. And we can flying knee. Oh. This is, gives us a random skill. And that, that doesn't help us. But we're blocking all the damage, so that's fine. Uh, flying knee, please. Yes, that is a high damage card, and I truly enjoy it. So if we need to, we can... Uh, Nuke this man out, uh, this plant out, excuse me, and uh, move on with our, our merry lives. Okay, so we have enough to block here? No, we don't. Okay. I think he's going to take three poison damage. So essentially, if we can do 25 damage, we can just end him now. I don't see that happening. So, so we're going to backflip. Oh, is this it? Yes. Backflip, get rid of that strike, and then we'll... Infinite Blaze just to have guaranteed damage every turn. And again, hang on to the flying knee. It's good. We're in an equilibrium right now with our, our leg sweep just keeping us completely safe. And he's not attacking this time, so he is in a world of trouble. And there's no reason not to use... But well, no, no, no. There's plenty of reason not to use bullet time. Because we can do this, spend whatever, and hang on to it for potentially uh, some of the best bursts we can ever expect on the next turn here. Get nine damage. Might have him. He's taking six damage right now. Let's, let's go. Let's go. We have it. Flying knee. Strike. Shiv. Dagger throw. I did this in a terrible order. Neutralize. He's gonna take nine damage. He's gonna live by one. We have to. I, I, we have to. We're alive, and maybe that's good. Maybe we can get a potion back. No. Okay. More acrobatics if we uh, get fortunate enough to draw into what we need. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I hope you were enjoying the uh, the playthrough here, because this is where we die. Oh, what is that? The Book of Stabbing, 12 damage. Hey, you, you know what? Uh, I see your 12 damage, and I, I accept. You get flying needs, huh? Go on, hit me. All right, all right. Plant stacking up. 12 damage. Uh, I would like uh, some additional cards, please. So but we have to we have to backflip. Oh, there, there's a chance. That's that's fine. Four eight twelve. This will bring us just above the cut. 
we want to Predator for just a bunch of damage and more card draw. And this for more energy. So we'll have a lot of card draw energy to synergize for the next turn here. And we will hang on to... I think in Venom. Because we're going to be doing a lot of damage potentially this turn. And uh, we'll want to get that poison stacking to end this a lot quicker than we need to. 24, I, th I think we're done. Okay, Endless Agony, that's, that's good. Shoot. Okay. So we need to draw... Not that. Uh, I, th I think we're dead. I think we're dead. We're, we're drink the strength potion um, and bullet time, and, and then pray because I, I don't think we're making it out of this one. And venom, defend. Just wait, wait. Order of operations. Yeah. Not not that it matters here, but you know, good habit to get into for the future. Eight damage, additional damage. Eight damage, additional damage. Strike. Uh, give me super. Ooh. Lose six strength. Oh my god, we have done it. Zero times four. It's zero. You can't multiply by zero. It's always zero. He's not gonna hurt us. He's just gonna. I, I love it. That that card has saved our life. Thirty damage though, and we are potentially dead now. Uh, hmm. In fact, I believe we are completely dead. Oh, jeez. Any miracles in here? Uh, there may be. No, there's no way. If I defend for 10, I'll still do more than enough. If I weaken him or reduce his strength, he's probably still going to hurt me greatly. I'm trying to think here. The strength adds it adds attacks. I don't know how the math adds up for it. Jeez. I mean, you know, we have to... These are the two cards that potentially could save us, but I, I don't think it's happening. You know, throw this at him. Maybe that'll do something. We were doing so well. Spend all your energy. I, yeah, I, I think I think we're done. So I'm gonna try and block up. You know, we essentially need to take uh, just, just like ten damage. We can deal with. If this brings it below it, we're good. But uh, no, counting is never going to be my strong suit. And this is where we get completely destroyed by the book uh, stabbing. All right, just, just do it. Yep. Now let me draw some cards just to give me a a piece of a uh, piece of hope, and then uh, just completely crush that hope by continuing to stab me after I saw the four cards I drew. Again, no unlock. Again, also only to floor two, but uh, a lot more combat this time. Uh, definitely a different deck synergy. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for the uh, the silent there. Didn't unlock that third character, so. You know, any future playthroughs, we're just going to have to keep going at it with the Ironclad or the Silent. Uh, nonetheless, though, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And to everyone, uh, have a good night.